Hello everybody. Uh, today is August 21st, 2018. It's my day uh, 2.102. That's hard to believe. It's been, um, well it is easy to believe actually that it's been two weeks since I made a video. Um, just a lot of stuff going on. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff going on. Um, the biggest thing in my life, uh, two big things really, um, is uh, I sold my house and um, so we're in that period of where we're just waiting for the closing to come up and uh, so I'm in the process of getting everything ready to move and uh, getting my daughter secured in her new school and everything we're, we're on the cusp of those things so I've been doing a lot of running around this is actually the first day um, in maybe two or three weeks that I've actually had um, a little bit of free time, a little bit of downtime. I'm not used to it. You know, I got so used to just being busy every day. Um, so I just kind of wanted to touch base a little bit. Um, it's been hellacious. There's only one way I could describe it. Um, a couple weeks ago, I just realized that there was no way I could, on a single income, maintain my house you know um there was nothing immediately wrong with it but you just i began to be live in fear a little bit about you know something happening and whatnot so i just kind of was like well let's see what we can do and ended up um selling it to the uh, we buy ugly homes people and uh we'll close on that in uh probably about two to three weeks less than three weeks um yeah so that's like a load off my mind but it's it's kind of like you know waiting 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 um so i'll be moving soon to a duplex where we used to live actually same area uh and that's kind of opened up its own can of worms you know getting my daughter into a different school and her schedule is going to change and everything and i feel really i feel terrible about that but it's it's for the good of the tribe you know it's um, we're going to be in a better position. I'm going to be able to start to save money a little bit. Uh, and again, like I said, just the fear of something happening, the, I don't even want to think about it. So, you know, when you live in an apartment, it's like, oh, this is broken. You know, pick up the phone. Hey, this is broken. Do you get a new fridge? Uh, when you live in a house, it's like, hey, this is broken. Uh, okay, well, $800 later, you get a new fridge, you know? So, um, I imagine that in like three weeks time, things will be a lot better. You know, just right now they're very, very chaotic. So that's a big thing. Um, the other big thing, um, which is kind of related to my surgery, believe it or not, hard to believe we're still talking about my surgery. Um, ever since I have had my surgery, I have been wonky. I have been just totally flat out batshit crazy. And it's like there's a slot that was put in somewhere in me and like a worry or concern slides into that slot and that's all I worry about. That's all I think about. And obviously moving and whatnot. And yeah, there's been a lot of things to be worried about. Um, but tomorrow I go for, um, I have a sleep apnea test, take home test. And uh, that may get me onto a, a CPAP machine, which I used to have before. And uh, I'm hoping that will help address some of the issues um, uh, as far as waking up during the middle of the night. Later this week, I go and I get tested for uh, hormones. And I think that might be the, the, um, what's causing all the issues. I think my hormones are just kind of out of balance. I might have too much estrogen. I might need a little bit of testosterone just to give me some uh, fighting power or something. I don't know. But like I said, I, I have felt off since May and uh, have not slept, et cetera, et cetera. Last couple of nights I've been sleeping a little bit. I think the, uh, the release of knowing that we'll be moving soon has kind of helped me out there. So, um that's really it as far as uh, things going on in my life. Um, I will say that I've had a couple of experiences where I've forgotten what I look like. 
Does that make any sense? It's like if I don't look in a mirror, I just assume that I'm still kind of in the male body. And that's obviously not the case. I mean, I guess if I pulled my hair back and, ow, sorry, I got to hang now. Pulled my hair back. Can I kind of imagine a little bit the way I used to look? A little bit, yeah. But I noticed that my face has um, changed, you know, a lot and, and everything else. So not so much the breasts, but. So, you know, if anything, I, I think the gestalt of everything is just I'm on the cusp of a major change here. Um, like I said, within the next three weeks, by mid-September, things should be even now. Oh, got a kitty cat. Yeah, I'm over here, baby. Um, my kitty cat's getting old. My famous kitty cat. Um, I think she's kind of on that last... She's not circling the drain yet, but um, I can tell she's beginning to sleep more and more. And, you know, she wants to sit in your lap and everything. But anyway, so there's a lot of things kind of going on. A lot of things kind of going on. There she goes. Um, but like I said, that's kind of where I've been and, and I've not really been there in the last week or two, just felt really, really low thought about, you know, what life would be like if I wasn't around. Um, you know, my biggest concern has been my daughter, you know, uh, which is why I'm still around. Um, but you know, again, the disruption that this move is going to cause. And, and I, I mean, we, how often is it that we have to make a, a tough decision? You know, things aren't always so easy. And, um, I hope that, uh, to make the right decision. And I think we are, I think we are. So, um, the other thing that's kind of cool is, you know, I mentioned I forget the way that I look. Um, it's interesting to... <laughs> um, I'm going to say not try to look feminine, but like, okay, okay, like, you know, do the hair and the earrings and, and, and the, the makeup and whatnot. Um, you, you, you do the hyper-feminine somewhat. But lately, I've just been, like, not even wearing a bra, you know, and it's, like, um, not even trying. And, you know, when I go out, you know, yes, ma'am, whatever. And I, I guess I've grown used to it, but it's, uh, I don't know, it's a different, I guess it's just where I am now. And, uh, like I said, it's been a dark, it's been a dark couple weeks. It's been a dark, morale, morale has been low. Morale has been low. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping that again, this move will, I think my daughter and I both need a reset. And, um, like I said, some peace of mind knowing that we'll be living in a duplex where if something breaks, you just make a phone call. Um, and there's a little bit of, you know, a little bit of transition there. Like I said, for her new school and, and whatnot, for me, um, better working conditions, I guess. Um, work is doing pretty good, all things considered. We're uh, um, a little nervous there too, I guess, but uh, it's hard to tell where one thing stops and something else begins. So, And really, that's just about it. I wish I had better things to say, like, you know, everything's great, but I'd be lying. You know, like I said, I've had some dark times, my friends. I've had some dark times. And uh, got some help from my dad on the house, selling it. I didn't have enough money. And that pulled me back from the brink. He kind of said to me, okay, here's here's a chance to start over again. And uh, that's where we're at. So that's all I can think of. Um, the other thing that's kind of funky is when you're, I've spent so much of my time in the last couple of weeks worrying that when you have a quiet respite, it's it's almost like I feel guilty. You know, 
what do people do who don't have crisis? You know, I'll be in that position, hopefully, knock on wood. Like I said, in about two to three weeks, we'll sell the house and everything. Um, you know, be in a position of, of not worrying all the time. That would be nice. So, all right, on that note, till next time, uh, best of luck in becoming the best version of yourself. I'm going to keep on trying to be the best version of myself. Maybe one day we'll, we'll, we'll get there if we haven't already. All right, till next time. Good luck, everybody. And uh,